Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of Serenium training. In this session, we are going to see how to handle keyboard events on a web page. So what is this keyboard events? Why it is important in Selenium automation and in what cases or in what uh, scenarios you will be using these keyboard events? We will see with example. If you want to directly jump to an example, please forward the video. But if you want to get some idea on basics of these keyboard events, just stay here for two minutes. So <clears throat> keyboard events are very important in automation because whenever you are not able to handle your application using normal methodologies of using web elements or a normal clicks, then you'll go for keyboard events. So what are these keyboard events? So whatever you perform using keyboard, pressing shortcut keys or pressing any functional keys or all those operations are a keyboard keys. So in this vast technologies uh, in the global market, there might be some applications where the applications behave in a different way and where you have to use shortcuts or you have to use some keyboard uh, events to perform uh, certain operations on your web applications. So most of the bank applications or most of the tools will have to use some shortcuts and will have to use some functional keys mainly. So in that case, you have to use this keyboard events methodology to uh, make your test pass. So what is this keyboard events? Basically, it's a pressing a key or and interacting with an application or user interaction with the keyboard through automation. Okay. So what are the ways that we can perform keyboard operations here? There are three ways. One is the generic way that we are always doing using send keys method of web element class that we are normally performing in the previous sessions. And there are other two ways also to perform keyboard events. One is actions class and other one is robot class. Okay. So actions class is related to Selenium and you, ha you have different methods available in that. But robot class is Java related class. It does not relate to Selenium this completely pure Java based uh, class which contains few methods. Okay, so what is the use of handling this keyboard events? You can perform different operations as I said like copy paste, controlling shift, holding the shift key and pressing some other key and pressing functional keys or if for, ex for example some applications you may you may not be able to click directly on a particular button. So in that case you might uh, need to press enter to enter the form data and navigate to the next page. So in that scenarios also you will be using these keyboard events and mostly you can press tab enter and all those things. So let's quickly jump to an eclipse and see a small example. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a demo web shop uh, example and we are going to fill a registration form using actions class and we are going to uh, perform some uh, shortcut keys using robot class. Okay, so let's switch to Eclipse. Or oh, let me create new class here. Let me call it as keyboard events. So let me include this public static main. So let me take these three lines of code. Okay, I have created a class, right? Okay. Keyboard events. Now, let me take a web page for you. Okay, this is the web page that I'm going to take and I'm going to sorry i'm going to go to this registration page so i'll be providing this registration url so once i come here i'll be filling the form uh, using action keys or uh, using actions class and be using different methods okay so let's inspect this element first so so its id is gender male 
so initially we will click on the radio button and then fill the other things by dot id of okay dot click okay once we click on this we have to send first name so let's take id okay first what we'll do is we'll just generically okay so in order to do with actions you have to use actions class okay so we will discuss in detail what actions class is what are the different methods available but here you you just need one method called send keys we will see that example and we'll move forward okay so i am declaring actions and you have to give pass the argument as driver and import actions okay sorry we have to give new actions of driver okay so you can see different methods here click on action dot you can see here different actions build click click and hold click on click context click is a right click okay double click and drag and drop okay key down key up move by offset move to element okay Act, send keys so these are the various methods available in action class we will be mostly using send keys and click and hold and drag and drop for drag and drop operations and for clicking and build is if you perform a multiple operations then you will use build dot perform so in this you will be using mostly build not mostly you have to use build and perform whenever you are using actions now we are going to send keys right so once we click on this radio button i want to type something here in the first name okay so uh, imagine manually what we are doing here once i click on this i have to press tab right if i press tab i'll be coming to the first name text box and if i press tab i'll be coming to last name so this way right so for example i have enter test one test two some test at gmail.com and if i press enter see this error is displayed right you are not going and clicking with the mouse but i just pressed enter from the keyboard and these error messages are displayed okay so we are going to perform the same operations here using actions so the first thing is we have to press tab and enter test one and next tab enter press two two tabs and next enter test gmail.com three tabs and then enter right so let's see how to do that so just give simply action dot okay send keys of you have to use keys dot okay here you have one uh, attribute keys dot if you press keys dot you will be seeing different keys that are available that you can press so i want to press tab so you can select from here okay once i press tab i want to enter the first name okay send keys of keys dot okay so i'm not using any keys right i'm not using any keys now i just want to type some first name okay i am pressing test one okay next what is my next operation again i have to press tab right because we are providing the test first name and we are not using web element we are using a keyboard shortcuts here so i'm pressing tab so giving tab and again i have to give second name now right send keys of test two right and then i have to type an email so again press tab okay and next again give send keys of action dot send keys of test at gmail.com okay so once i give this i'm i'm not going to type password this is just to see an example of how to use keyboard events for uh, uh, for using actions class 
I'm just going to press enter now. So action dot send key so since this is a key then we will use dot enter okay once you press keys dot and a particular letter it will show you all the keys that are available and you can choose that okay so now we are done okay so generally this is the way that you sh you can write but there is an other methodology as well okay so you will use action dot bill dot perform okay this is how you can write i'll write it as method one okay so let's execute this and see so once i press enter it should throw the error like this right so let me maximize this driver dot manage dot window dot maximize Okay, so let me run this now. See, it pressed tab, it pressed uh, test one, test two, tested Gmail, and then pressed enter. Okay, so this is one way you can write, and the other way to write this is you need not give actions dot action dot action dot all the time okay so yeah let me copy all this method 2 okay so for meanwhile let me comment this and now i have actions is equal to new actions of right so what i can do is at the first line I can give action dot send keys for the first operation and after that there is no need of pressing action dot okay directly I can give dot send keys okay dot send keys we have to remove semicolon at the end just give me a second dot send keys okay at the end dot build dot perform okay so you can remove this okay see this is the way that you can write but at the end we have to provide semicolon since this is all a single line of code or you can assume that uh, it accepts dots and keys dots and keys for the first thing uh, using this variable that we created for actions class you can use action dot send keys and then dot so whatever operations you have to perform you can give those keys and then at the end you have to use build dot perform because you have entered multiple uh, operations right multiple steps so whenever you perform multiple steps then you have to give build dot perform so this will this will do all these operations okay now let me run this program right now once you press enter you have password it's blinking at the password right so now let's see uh, these are actions right so let's see about robot class okay as i said robot class is related to java only right using robot class java based class so how to declare this robot it's very easy just q robot robot is equal to new robot top okay just import this robot class and exception add throws exception see if you can see here awt exception this is purely java based exception now see what we are going to do password it's at the password and uh, we have confirm password and we have enter so i'll be pressing tab and i'll be pressing again tab and i'll be pressing enter see when i press enter it enter to the confirm password right 
so let's do that let's see how to do that okay i'll give robot dot key press so in robot class you have to remember one important thing you will be having a key press and key release as well okay you have to do that uh, multiple times for for each and every key that you pressed and here in actions class you have keys dot but here you will be having key event dot okay key event dot tab see you 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 don't have to press tab but there are predefined things that they are given see vk underscore tab give that okay and also once you press tab you have to release that key right press and release so key release of again uh, let's copy this key event so again i have to press tab right so as i said you so again press tab and this time i want to press enter okay so this is one tab this is one tab and enter so just give vk underscore enter but you can search for this if you give enter like this okay it gives error see so you as you have when when you get some experience you can give this of your own okay so now what will happen till here it will come to the password text box and i'm pressing tab again i'm pressing tab and then pressing enter once i press enter see if you observe here in this application observe how it is behaving when i press enter it's going to confirm password right that's what it should happen now okay so here i'll be uh, giving thread dot sleep for uh, three seconds for our observation so put this now run this run as java application I waited for three seconds and then it went to password right so the test case is passed so this is how you have to use actions class and you have to use robot class in handling the keyboard events so real time in real time where will you be using this uh, you may you may have some doubt where we'll be using this so uh, there are different applications this this market is very huge you might have a different applications which you which need or which may not be performed using mouse keys or something like that and sometimes you have to use some shortcut keys uh, most of the bank applications if you observe they will be using uh, uh, shortcut keys right you have to test that as well if you press f1 key if it is whether that page is going to a particular thing or particular operation is being performed so those things whenever you press keys then only you will be testing it so for that purpose these keyboard e events are very important so take some website just do practice i'll be giving this code in the description box if you have any suggestions or feedback just post, post it in the comment section okay thank you and have a nice day